What's up, everyone? Happy Black Friday. How was your Thanksgiving? We are over here at Hall's Pond. And uh, nice quiet morning. Drizzling a little bit. Not too bad. So we're back in Black Friday. Black Friday. I think Black Friday's changed a lot with the uh, introduction of online shopping. People aren't running out to uh, stand online at 4 a.m. All that nonsense. I don't know. Maybe some people are still doing it, I guess. But it uh, seems like that's not a, so much of a thing anymore. It's actually used to be crazy. People trample on each other to uh, buy Christmas gifts. Huh? So um, we're over here at Hall's Pond. I don't know if I've gone live here from Hall's Pond yet. This is something new. I'm going to come here a lot. of past here on the way to Hempstead Lake State Park. So it's a cool little pond over here. A uh, little peaceful spot. Show you around a little bit. Got a gazebo over there. You got a playground over there. You got a little stream that comes in from this side. The stream's actually dry, though. Usually there's a little waterfall there. And uh, I guess we haven't had it rained in a while, so <coughs> it's on the dry side. So then you got some houses over here. And then if we go that way, we're up to uh, Hempstead Lake. And then we're over here again. So, uh, let me get you a message of the day. So this morning I put on the Bible app, and um, it was uh, from the book of James. And it talked about something um, that uh, basically happened to me yesterday. Uh, I was talking about how we need to be quick to listen, and we need to be um, slow to respond, and we need to slow to anger. Uh, it also talked about that uh, if you claim to be religious and you can't control your tongue, you are not religious. So yesterday, um, we had to deal with uh, the holidays, and um, there's a relative in my life that has been... Um, I don't know what his problem is, and I walked in to the house, and I stuck out my hand, and I said, Happy Thanksgiving, and he basically started calling me names. So, instead of walking away and saying, this isn't the time, I let him get me. He got me. He won. He fired me up, and uh, I lost my cool, and I didn't control my tongue, and in front of the family and the kids, I allowed this guy to... Um, have words with me and I'm kind of upset about it because the kids were around and um, I should have walked away I should have walked away instead I let him get me he got me he got me he reeled me in put the hook out and I walked right into the trap and um, on a day it was supposed to be thankful and peaceful I let this guy get me and um, I think he might be struggling with mental illness because he honestly doesn't make any sense but that being said, um, he got me. So then I opened up my Bible app this morning to James, and it talks about you can't be religious if you can't control your tongue. And uh, I didn't control my tongue yesterday. And, um, you know, it said you need to be quick to listen and slow to respond and slow to anger. Well, I went from zero to 100 in about 30 seconds. Um, I responded. I was angered. And uh, I failed. I failed, the, I failed the test yesterday. But we ride it doing again. Today's another day. So the rest of the day was peaceful. I had fun with the kids. Um, down at Breezy Point, I got to do my workout on the beach. My second workout of the day for 75 hard. Um, so that was nice. Um, the rest of the day went pretty well. But uh, it bothered me for the day that I lost my cool. Um, that I let him get me. And... Um, just, you know what, I told, still going back to, uh, living in a moment, um, we got to be present and we got to understand what's going around about us, you know, going on around us. Um, we need to evaluate each situation before we respond. Um, a lot of times we're quick to respond. We're quick. We just fire off and we don't even think, uh, didn't have a thought in the world. I stuck my hand out, say Thanksgiving, nice gesture. And I got met with adversity and, and strife. And instead of get walking away I fell into the trap I let him get me and I failed the test um, so think about that in your life where are you failing the test where are you quick to anger where are the quick where are you quick to respond to the triggers in your life um, what is triggering you and why are you letting it trigger you um, I know a lot of people struggle with this the whole world obviously struggles with this uh, from road rage right someone cuts you off and you don't even think you go to cut them off back um, again, someone 
said something to you and you don't even think you just fire something back um you need to be quick to listen slow to respond and slow to anger the book of james today's message from the bible day after thanksgiving think about that as you go on in your travels the holiday season gets stressful uh we deal with a lot of people maybe relatives and stuff that uh we don't see eye to eye with and maybe people we don't see eye to eye with stress is high uh, there's a lot that people need to do uh, and they possibly are taking it out on you and others and whatever um so just need to think about this in the next coming month as the holiday season is on us and it gets crazy um think about that quick to listen open your ears up slow to respond close your mouth slow to anger control your rage control your tongue um Super important, super important. So, there's your message of the day. Um, hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Um, today starts the holiday madness in my house. We get to uh, pull the Christmas stuff out of the attic, and we let Christmas throw up in my house today. Uh, Christmas crap, well, the kids are all excited. Um, we're going to put the tree up and put the trains under the tree. I got my dad's Lionels out. So they are, I don't know, probably 60 year old or so. Lionels are going under the tree. I'll shoot you some video of that later. They're cool. And uh, we're going to, uh, you know, we're going to get all set up for Christmas and we're going to uh, try and enjoy the rest of the long weekend. Um, nice to have a couple of days off with the kids. Uh, I do got to start um, getting my new listing going. They are just finishing construction. That's 120 Hanson over in Malvern. It's a uh, four bedroom, two bath center hall colonial. 2,000 square foot on a 76 by 100 lot, 779. Uh, we should be just about ready for pictures. So we might get pictures done this weekend. Uh, all redone, new bathrooms, new kitchen, uh, hardwood floors, all done. Nice house. Um, so we got that going on this weekend, real estate related. I'm probably going to have some showings coming up. I'm trying to find a couple of people, some properties. Slim Pickens out there. If you're looking to sell, man, it's time. It's time. Um, there's nothing out there. So. All right, let's jump on prayers. we got a pretty spot here. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to help us to uh, follow your message in uh, the book of Peter. Um, help us to be quick to listen. Help us be slow to respond. Help us be slow to anger. Uh, help us to control our tongue and help us to keep our peace. Help us to not let anyone steal our joy. And help us to uh, keep being a light in the world. Help us to keep giving. Help us to be thankful. Amen. All right. So, hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Hope everyone uh, was ready for this holiday season. To sprint to the finish line. We got a month left of this year. What are you going to do to finish this year out strong? And what are you going to do to start preparing for 2022? Lots of twos next month, next year. Um, even years. I don't know. I think I like even years. Um, so we got a month to close this year out strong and to start planning for next year. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I got, I got cleaned up. We shaved up. We got the hair done. Thanks, Wendy. Great to see you. Who else is on here? Pete, great to see you. Todd, good morning. Mariana, uh, teachable moment. Yes, it is, Mariana. Appreciate you. Tommy Reek, my man. Pat Montgomery, what's up, brother? All right, everyone. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you put your Christmas crap up today. Have fun doing that. Don't lose your joy. Don't uh, control your tongue. Don't lose your tongue either. Quick to listen. Slow to respond. Slow to anger. That's your message. God bless you all. Put your head on the pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go. Let's go do some inspiration out there. Let's be a light in the world. Inspire those around us. Appreciate you all. God bless.